it's officially December and that means it's okay for me to start talking about Christmas. Normally, I'd be ready for Christmas around Halloween time. You can't blame me, I'm Filipino and we start celebrating Christmas once the burr months are here, like September, October, and so on. But in America, some people aren't as passionate about Christmas as others, so I won't disregard your feelings. And I held back until December to talk about it, even though when I'm writing the script, it's actually a couple months in advance, so did I really have to wait that long? There's something about Christmas time that makes me feel jollier. Is it the cold weather and the warmth of a cozy home? Is it the music filled with bells and kids' choirs? Is it the smell of spices and pine or the multicolored lights? The food, the spirit, I know there's a lot of things wrong in the world despite it being Christmas, but doesn't anyone else feel a little more lifted when it's Christmas? Like, why do I have to wait until the end of the year to feel happier? They should call it end of the year resolutions instead of new year's resolutions. Resolutions are out of style, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Regardless of all that, I'm still obsessed with the season. Every time October rolls around and all the pumpkin stuff comes out in stores, I try really hard not to complain about it because I know there are some people who are very passionate about Halloween the way I am about Christmas. Because when Christmas rolls around, I'm sure those people are biting their tongues, trying to let all the Christmassy people enjoy peppermint everything. Where there is a pumpkin spice latte, there is a peppermint mocha or hot chocolate or tea, depending on what you're into. I think I'm really only obsessed with Christmas because of the feeling. Like the whole personality test, I go with my feelings rather than logic. So seeing Christmas lights and hearing the same Christmas songs be remade by artists brings joy in my life. But sometimes I wonder about other holidays too. I feel like Christmas and Halloween fall time are the biggest show stealers. Like I've seen people do things for Valentine's Day, but I've never really witnessed people being happy-go-lucky about Cupid shooting them in the butt. Not many people throw parties for Valentine's Day. Back to the Christmas joys, I think I've always had fond memories memories surrounding the holidays. I've mentioned in long extent about how bad my memory is, but for some reason, I can remember a lot about Christmas. I used to live in Hawaii, and you haven't lived until you've seen Santa in those Hawaiian shirts surfing. Back then, Santa used to parade around the streets handing kids presents. Then there's those fun gift-giving games too. Secret Santa and White Elephant are always fun to play. Secret Santa was usually played with my friends at school though. In high school, we used to have our own little holiday party in the band room with a potluck and ate. Even though you weren't supposed to eat in the band room, we still did. I did it also in college with my drama group and being theater kids, it was a blast. White Elephant was usually played with my family. It was funny because one year there were like five Echo Dots in the stash. Recently, we played White Elephant with games. So every time you wanted to steal a gift, you had to challenge the person, and if you won, you could steal. A pretty awesome concept. I wonder where my cousins came up with that idea. Should I put a warning about Santa up here? But I remember believing so hard in Santa. When people would try to tell me otherwise, I would tell them about the genius of my parents. We usually celebrate Christmas with my family out of town. And when we left, our parents would always be the last ones out of the house. And at that time, they would bring out all of Santa's gifts. Genius! So when we come back home, it looked like he was there. So when convincing my friends, I'm like, if he isn't real, how did he visit us when we weren't home? Ah, those were the days. Thank you. For for gathering so I can reminisce about how much I love the holidays. So happy holidays if you celebrate and if not, I still hope your days are filled with happiness.